Hi, I'm Mike Jansen. I'm running for counselor at large here in New Bedford because I have concerns about the direction that our city's headed on key issues such as a single tax rate that is absolutely no good for the homeowner. It'll bring your taxes up and your property values down, never mind your mortgage uh, rate, your payments for your mortgage. It's not a good thing for New Bedford homeowners uh, to build the, uh, businesses out on the backs of uh, homeowners. Uh, another issue that's uh, bothering me is the uh, hiring of non-residents to lifetime jobs here in New Bedford uh, that come with pensions. Uh, we're getting people to uh, getting giving waivers away uh, at, at the uh, council. That's got to stop. The waiver system has to be put to sleep. And we have to stop appointing non-residents to a lot of our boards and commissions. That's an absolute slap in the face uh, to the resident of New Bedford. Uh, we also have a problem uh, with jobs. Now, th this is a very uh, non... It's, it's not politically correct. I've been saying this for the last decade. We are an unofficial uh, sanctuary city. In other words, uh, it hasn't been voted on, but I estimate that we're losing 3,500 to 4,000 jobs to illegals. Now, <laughs> what that does is it, you've got a lot of young people coming out of high school that don't have the jobs that, that should be available to them. Roofing, siding, landscaping, the waterfront, many, many more jobs that have been taken by illegals. And what it does is it puts these people unemployed. And when you're unemployed, uh, you don't feel too good about yourself. Uh, I call it SSI, shitty self-image. And that's what's happening. That's why we have such a uh, large epidemic of heroin. A lot of people aren't happy with their existence here in New Bedford, and they turn to drugs. Shameful. Now, on the heroin epidemic, uh, I think the New Bedford police need to do a better job developing their informants that'll give them the houses uh, that this heroin is stored in. Right now, uh, not doing a good job at it. They do, the New Bedford police are doing a good job on a lot of other things, but they're not doing a good job on that end when it comes to heroin. That needs to be addressed. We also have to stop closing high-performing neighborhood schools. The closing of Kempton School was a huge mistake. Uh, we have a, uh, another problem in, in, in New Bedford, and it's, uh, not a, it's, it's not a, a, a politically correct thing to say, but this is, uh, this is something that I've gotten booed over, but I'm going to continue to say it. Uh, none, of the, none of the other candidates are talking about it. Uh, we've had for the past 20 years Section 8 mobility certificates that have allowed people to come here. They actually pay people uh, to move into uh, New Bedford uh, from towns who knows where they're moving from, but they're here. They're, they're undesirables. Uh, not all of them. I can't say that all people that are moving here are undesirables, but there's just too many. And they've, what they've done is they've come into our city, they, do, they become lousy tenants, they're not, and they're not preparing their kids for, uh, for, for an education, so consequently our schools are suffering because uh, these, they're not doing a good job preparing their kids. And it's not the teacher's job uh, to do that. Uh, my mother used to work with, the, work with me on, with flashcards. I doubt any of uh, uh, people here in New Bedford are working with their kids with flashcards. Uh, so I'll say to you this, that 80% of our voters, registered voters here in New Bedford, do not vote. And that's shameful. Uh, their vote counts. So what I, I would ask them to go out on October 6th and vote for Mike Jansen and make a difference. Thank you.